Hi, I'm Heather from heathercristo.com and today we are making paleo beet zoodles with spicy herb shrimp. It's not only stunningly beautiful, wait till you see this beet sauce, but it's so delicious and nutritious too. Paleo friendly, Whole30 friendly, basically everyone wants to eat it. Let's start with the spicy herb sauce because we want to get those shrimp marinating. Just a clove of garlic, one roughly chopped jalapeno. I have no idea how spicy that is, so it's going to be a surprise. This is one bunch of cilantro, a quarter cup of olive oil, and then a few tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. It just gives it a nice sweetness along with its tart flavor. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, a little bit of salt here. So one of the things I love about a Vitamix is that it can make smaller batches of sauces and salad dressings because of the shape of it and it makes things really easy. I'm adding this sauce, but I'm not adding all of it, about two thirds. And I'm just gonna leave a little extra in there to drizzle over the shrimp at the end because it's such a pretty color. Meanwhile, these are going to just get a great toss with this cilantro sauce spicy cilantro sauce. I can smell the jalapenos. So we'll just set those aside to marinate while we make the beet pesto. Okay, so now we're gonna tackle the beets. I've already boiled these beets and peeled the skin off of them. Another clean Vitamix here, and I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic. This is a half a cup of pumpkin seeds, and then in go the beets. I'm gonna do a good sprinkle of kosher salt and some olive oil, and again with the rice vinegar. Pop this on here. Okay, before we dress the zoodles, I'm gonna go ahead and cook these shrimp. I have a really hot pan over here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. You wanna cook these shrimp until they're just opaque, so about a minute on each side. They look so delicious and they smell even better. So I'm quickly gonna toss the zoodles with the beet pesto. Don't feel like you have to use all of the pesto because um, you don't want soupy zoodles. You just want enough to evenly coat these zucchini noodles. And I use raw zucchini noodles because I really like that little bite it has. If you cook it first, it can get pretty mushy. Oh, this is perfect. Isn't this a beautiful color? So now I've got my platter here. <laughs> this might not be that graceful. Okay, now I'm gonna cut up part of this last beet. So it's just a little added texture and chunks of beet. And then of course, the shrimp. You guys, I know that beets are kind of an acquired taste, like either you love them or you not so much, but I promise you this pesto is like a gateway drug to beets. My sister who hates them even loves beet pesto. Hmm. I have to try one of these spicy shrimp. It's really good. It's really spicy. So delicious, you won't even realize you're eating healthy. For the full recipe and video, head on over to heathercristo.com.